Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cooper's Amputee Lifestyle. And in this episode, we are down in Belize. We are about to get on the Belize Aggressor 4 and get out to Turnif Atoll and Lighthouse Atoll to do some amazing diving. But before we can get on the Aggressor 4 and leave Belize City to head out there and cover each of those dive sites in their own episodes, I wanted to make another fish identification video thanks to the help of Franco Maps. I ended up picking up a Belize dive map and reef creature guide to help identify each of these amazing creatures that we're going to see in our dives. So when you guys watch this video of fish identification in Belize and you watch all the other videos that come out after, you'll already have an idea of what each of those fish's names are called. So let's get out and do some diving and identify some fish. These little fish are called Fairy Basslet or Royal Grandma. These little guys, I believe, are called Yellow Cleaning Gobies. This is a giant barrel sponge. It is a filter feeder. Inside this barrel sponge, we have a Caribbean spiny lobster. On this next clip, we have another Caribbean spiny lobster out for a scuttle at night. This is a sand tilefish. They have little holes underneath the coral that they like to burrow in and live in. This is a southern stingray. Here's one for the viewers. If you know what kind of fish these are, leave a comment in the comment section below. This is an arrow crab. Here are two arrow crabs living in a basket sponge. It looks like a Caribbean reef shark has come to say hello to us. I was just amazed by the amount of sharks that we saw on basically every other dive.
This shark with the two white spots on its head is nicknamed Patches. These are called banded butterfly fish. These are long spined sea urchins. You'll see them with either white and gray or all black. This is called a scrawled file fish. These things can grow up to over three and a half feet in length. This is a tube worm. It is also a filter feeder. Here is a sand dollar. This is a hawksbill turtle. These creatures are amazing. It is sad to say that these are critically endangered. There's approximately 8,000 nesting females left in the world. This is a white spotted filefish. Here is a graze bee fish sitting on the top of a large basket sponge. Here's another one I want the viewers to participate in. Find out what this coral is and leave it in the comment section below. Check out all these blue tangs swimming by. Here is a green mori eel. I was wondering if a cleaner fish was getting at it and that's why it was making small jerky movements. Here's a couple of queen angelfish. Look at these Bermuda chub. They are so friendly. They were coming up to us, looking for handouts, swimming around us in circles, checking us out. These are black durguns. How cool is that to see all these fish gathering by the boat so you can have quite an interesting view before you get out of the water. This is a spotted drum. The other name for this is a spotted ribbon fish. Here's a juvenile spotted drum. This little guy is so tiny, it's like the shape of a little pea. This little guy is a striped burrfish. It is said they can inflate their body to twice its size by taking in water.
here's a West Indian spider crab, or other names for it, channel clinging crab, spiny spider crab, or coral crab, found across the Caribbean. Check out these tarpon. They will use lights from divers or boats at night to help spot little fish to swim up and eat. When you shine your lights at them, their silver scales will reflect those lights. These are spot fin butterfly fish. These fish are called barjacks. This is called a sea cucumber. These fish are called jawfish. These guys are so interesting. They will come out of their holes. As soon as you approach them, they swim backwards into their hole and they just kind of watch you from the safety of their little bunker that they created. These are banded coral shrimp. Now we have a great barracuda. Great barracudas can grow to over four feet long. This is a lionfish. They are edible, but they have 18 venomous feathery spines along their back and sides with venom that could be injected and become deadly. The other sharks that we saw down in Belize were nurse sharks. These nurse sharks were not as common as the reef sharks, but we did get a few nice appearances from them. This is a midnight parrotfish. This is a queen triggerfish. This is a Nassau grouper. The Nassau groupers were very friendly and very curious. They would all come up to see what we were doing. Here is a little hermit crab living in what's left of a queen conch shell out for a scuttle.
and here is a queen conch poking its little eyes out looking at me. This is an orange tube sponge. This is called a giant brain coral. This guy is called a saucerai porky. This is a large mound of staghorn coral. This is called a Gagornian sea fan. Look at all these horse-eyed jacks swimming by. This is a toadfish. They make a sound that sounds like a cell phone vibrating underwater. The closer you get, the louder the vibrations. This is a four-eye butterfly fish. This is a slipper lobster. These things look like large bugs crawling around on the reef. This little guy is a tiny little seahorse. One would think it would be attached to some type of coral, but it's out in the open. Here is a yellow stingray. And finally, my favorite sea creature of all time, an octopus. So that's going to bring our identification video to an end. There was so much more I wanted to share with you and identify, but I'm going to save that for our later videos. I'm putting up a picture of the identification card and the Belize dive map. So you could take screenshots and be able to follow along later in my other episodes of me covering all the diving work doing at Turnip Atoll and Lighthouse Atoll down in Belize. Thank you so much. Don't forget to be subscribed to the channel, to like the video, to comment in the video, and share the video. Remember, I'm a person with a disability. I have one leg. I'm out diving with a prosthetic. I'm living life, loving life. I'm trying to inspire others to get out, live life, love life, chase a hobby, chase an adventure, and just enjoy being you again. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night.